I'm gonna do an update on my my greenhouse here, my aquaponics greenhouse for the spring of 2011. Um, got everything pretty much planted in here. It's been going for a couple weeks, probably. Some of it, some of it I just put in yesterday, um, like the onions and stuff. But I've had some of it in here for uh, about two two weeks, I guess. Um, got all kinds of stuff going on. Got some carrots. Got them planted uh, along here, along here. Uh, obviously, I've got I've got a lot of tomatoes planted. I actually bought these uh, from Lowe's, and these this was just two two plants. So I got like seven plants for for seven bucks from from that deal. I just uh, dumped the uh, the roots into water and separated the each plant. And uh, these this was the tallest one when I put it in there, and it was it was just up to about right there. The rest of them were barely sticking out of the ground. And I mean they just they've been doing pretty good. And you can actually see if you look close. You don't even have to look close. You can see that they they need to be suckered really bad. And I actually just I actually did take a couple of these suckers off and uh, plant them. That one was done four days ago, and it's already rooted. These were done yesterday, and they wilted really bad. But I think as long as the weather doesn't get too too hot, actually it was 130 in here yesterday before I opened it up, uh, that they'll actually survive. So I was just going to show you guys that too as well. That it's pretty easy. All you need to do is just wait till your suckers get good and long like that and uh, you can just clip them off and uh, plant them down into your grow beds and they should take you know in early in the spring if it's real hot later in the summer they probably probably won't you're probably going to need some kind of cloner or something like that but uh, for me it worked so I was kind of I just did it as an experiment just to see I didn't think it would actually work but it, it seemed to work pretty good so um, I've got broccoli and a bunch more tomatoes I've got uh, Better Boy and Sweet uh, Sweet 100, uh, Brandy Wine, Jubilee, which is like a, I think a yellow or orange tomato, and then these are Cherokee Purple. This has actually got a fused blossom on it, the top one. It's kind of hard to see. My, my camera won't really focus on it, but this one, that one may be a pretty, pretty good sized tomato. But, uh, Yeah, I think those are those are either cucumbers or cantaloupe, and there's actually two planted the same way. One of them just now kind of coming up, but uh, so yeah, either cucumber or cantaloupe. And then these are see, this tomato is called a uh, tumbling tom, and I was thinking I'd just plant these and they'd kind of fall over the edge of the, the bed there. So we'll see how that goes too. I got another uh, project with those using some. Uh, Kind of like a strawberry tower type thing that I'm that I'm making. So I'll give you an update on that when I get around to it. And I got more tomatoes here. These are all going to go out in the in the organic garden. They're kind of in here, just keeping warm until we get past our you know last frost date. And I got peppers and stuff too. Carnival peppers, so they should be you know different colors, sweet peppers or whatnot. And all right, I guess I'll show you the fish. Let's go in for a closer look. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to um, take a clone and basically plant it in your aquaponics system. It's if you've ever cloned, it's just like that, except for it's easier because you just you don't have to worry about uh, rooting hormones or cloning solutions or anything like that. You, your system should provide the the nutrients that the that the clone needs to survive. The only thing is the is the um, the weather. I think if if it's too hot, it it may actually kill the plant before it can even before it can take but the good thing about this is that you don't have to worry about watering the clone I mean as long as it doesn't get over 
you know, a certain, like maybe 120 degrees, the plants never wilt in here, ever, because they're constantly getting water. So that's the great thing about, about this. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a razor blade. And I'm just gonna just gonna cut it off at this stem. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're gonna cut off more um, after you do this anyway. So okay, that's what I did. Just a clean cut, just like that. And now, now what you're gonna do is just make an, uh, an angled cut downward, so that the the inside of the stem is actually exposed to more more water, more air more nutrients that way it can it can sprout more roots and have a better chance of survival is I've actually you'll notice that I've actually removed the stems that were here the leaves the plant doesn't need those to to, um, to produce roots it really just hinders the the process of them developing roots so what I did is I you can see I cut it on a, on a good angle there that that's fine that'll work I actually shaved off the outer coating of the stem on the back side as well. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just something like that where it's got a lot of area uh, exposed to the um, to the system. And uh, just leave like one, one set of leaves on top. And you'll see that wilt and lay on the rocks and then it'll just perk back up and wilt a little bit. So, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to watch and, it, you know, it's a work in progress. It's an experiment, but it has worked for me. So um, I thought I'd share that with you guys and you can do this. I mean, I, I, I paid $7 for these uh, for these plants and then I can have unlimited amount of, of supply. As you can see, there's, there's huge suckers all over this thing in just a matter of days. All of these are long enough. Once they get to about two and a half to three inches, that's actually long enough. So long as the, the whole thing's buried down in the in the system, that's that's actually long enough to do. So uh, if you guys want to save some money, that's a that's a way of doing it for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and plant this. I'll show you how to do that. That's just a matter of uh, digging down a little bit. You can see the bed's draining. It's actually full right now, so there's you can see where the where the water is at. That's a good place to plant. If it's if it's below that, that means that you know it's going to be constantly exposed to um, the water and then air as the bed sucks it down. I'm actually going to push this a little further down. Just like that. And then just cover it back up. And it doesn't doesn't really matter where you plant it because it, um, I can always move this later, and I probably will. These are these will most likely go out in the organic garden. So once they develop roots, I'm just going to plant them in soil, and there you go. That's it. Easy to do. All right, guys. I hope that helps somebody. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just, you know, leave them below the video or shoot me an email, whatever you want to do. Um, willing to help anybody that, that has questions that's just starting out or um, anything like that. So, all right, guys. Okay, I'm also going to show you how to sucker. Um, let's choose this one. All right, you can see that that's, that's a flower um, cluster. And it's kind of hard to see which one is the main stem. They both look pretty much the same, but it's actually attached to this 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 plant, and you can see it right there. So you're going to want to take everything, all the suckers below the last flower cu cluster, which should be this one, and this is a little big. I'd normally take that with a razor blade if I was, had, a, had a free hand, but then you just take everything below that, so you go down here. Remove that. And there's even another one right over here. Okay, so that's what I took off of that one plant. So two of these, these probably could be planted. If I took a razor blade to them, I could probably plant those down there and make new plants, but I don't really have a need to do that right now. I've got plenty of tomato plants, so 
Um, but yeah, that's, that's how you sucker a tomato plant. Alright guys.